Hello, everybody. Today we are having a neurographic class, and it's going to be about our money and financial finances. We're going to explore if we want to um, make our financial flow bigger. And how do we feel about our current financial flow? Maybe it's good enough and we don't want to change anything. We will be just drawing to, um, to keep it steady and to enjoy what we have. And if you are ready, uh, we just need the regular uh, pencils and paper. And I'm switching my camera right now okay so i'm gonna be drawing uh with starting with a pencil and you're welcome to draw with a marker or with a pencil whichever way you want so uh first we're gonna start as always uh we'll start by um choosing a topic and the topic can be um your financial flow right now or any limitations that you feel around financial flow and how do you feel do you want to keep it the same do you want to grow it and you can just write somewhere the topic so um it's gonna be uh, i'm gonna write my finances And I'm gonna set up a timer. We are just gonna start by activating this topic for two minutes, writing words, three associations, just words on this topic for my finances for two minutes. Ready, set, go. I'm setting the time. So anything that comes to you, just write it down. Oh, here's my cat. Hello. Hi, Dima. And stop. Okay. And before we start, uh, you can count how many words do you have? I have 28 words. And before we start, we're going to do a little bit of a breathing exercise just to be more present. And this will be the hardest part to just sit for a 
moment uh, and be present. So first, straighten your hands in front of you and put one hand above the other. And then twist your hands like this and put one angle above the other. Take a deep breath and on the in exhale, close your eyes. And just take a few deep breaths. And now let go and do the other hand on top and the other leg on top across the ankles. And again, a few deep breaths. Okay, and now just stretch, stretch your hands, you can yawn, oh. and we'll do another one. Just put your hands on your collarbones so that you cover completely the collarbone with your palm and the other hand on the other side. Close your eyes, you can uncross your legs. And just take a few deep breaths. And cross your hands the other way. Just uh, one, the other one on top. And let your hands down. Okay. And now let's start drawing. So on the paper, just connect with the paper and see where on the paper you can draw yourself. And just put a dot there. And after that, uh, you are, we are gonna draw a circle the size of how much money you earn right now. Think about how much money you earn right now. Um, and this can be from any source. How much money you have coming in for you right now. And just hover your pencil on top uh, over the paper and see how it feels. Also scan your body. How do you feel about this right now? So let's draw a circle about how much money do you have right now? You don't see my circle. Okay, let's see. Do you see this circle? Yes, this is more visible. This will be better. Okay. So this is how much money I feel I that I earn right now. And let's make it a little bit with neural line on top of this circle. Go over 
the circle and make it neural lines. I feel like I need to take, get a marker because it's not going to be visible. So this is how much money I earn. And I'm adding a neural line on top to activate it and see how you feel about the money right now. Uh, also notice how it, any sensations in your body. What do you feel in your body right now? And, uh, and in this class, we're going to explore if you double your income. So this is what you earn right now. And so if you double, so we're going to draw a circle that is approximately double the size of the first one. So if you get double the money, how do you feel right now? Just look at it and you can also activate it with neural lines. Just going around it. And if there's a lot of emotions coming in right now, you can do a catharsis inside of it. If you feel like that's not acceptable to you and you have a lot of resistance to doing this, just do a catharsis. Catharsis is a scribble that we learn in the basic user course. And you can just do it inside of this circle. And if you are okay, let's just start exploring this new extended financial flow that you, you will have to double with exploring it by just adding neural lines. And you, uh, if you feel anxious, you can start rounding right away. Always notice with each neural line how you feel. Do them slowly, don't rush. You can just rounding, start rounding right away. So not to have as many to round at the end, or you can keep on adding and always observing how do you feel. And what thoughts are coming to you? To use any direction. 
You can do it in any direction. Just exploring this. And when it feels enough, you can start rounding and see what thoughts are coming to you about ex uh, expanding your money flow. There may be some ideas or just feelings and emotions. Neurographica works with repatterning our brain by changing our neural connections. And even if you have some negative thoughts, negative emotions coming, as you work with the lines and roundings, you will be able to stay calm and this will help you to change the way you think and the way you react to the situation. And any blocks that you may have, will, you will be able to re remove them. All the blocks are inside our head the way we believe it should be, the way we think it should be. So what are some limiting beliefs that people have around money? That, do, you, do you have any limiting beliefs around money? You need to work hard for money, to earn a lot of money. Is this a limiting belief? Yes. Or what else? Money doesn't go, uh, grow on trees. Yes. What else? Money don't bring happiness or money are dirty. Only bad people have a lot of money. And you can um, you can come up with more your specific ones that you have. And just keep observing your reactions. How are you reacting? What is happening? What emotions are coming up for you? Or maybe you don't have any limiting beliefs. Maybe you feel good about the money and you, um, you Enjoy the money you are attracting, you're receiving. And it is enough for you. Then just keep on um, rounding and just being in this state of nice, emotions and feelings. And keep on adding, you can add more lines. And after we round here, the, those lines, We will check again 
How does it feel? Right after we rounded everything, how does it feel if we earn, if we are able to earn twice the amount of money that we are earning now? It feels calmer, it feels more at ease and more doable. And let's see, let's see what can we do? What we will use this money for when we have double amount. So for anything that you would wanna use them, you can add a circle. So I really want to travel and I want to travel to Egypt to see the pyramids. So you can label, so this is my Egypt. Travel. You can label those circles. They can cross each other. They can be big or small, just round them. And you can add more lines to explore. How will you feel when you do that? So how will I feel when I go to Egypt? I always wanted to see the pyramids, not only from outside, but to go inside. I don't know if it's possible, if they allow it right now, but that's gonna be cool if I can. And I also wanna travel to Petra to see the stone, the buildings in the stone, the temples inside the stones there. So it's gonna be quite an adventure. What else? And I want to travel to to Luxembourg to see my friend there that I wanted to see for a long time. And I want us to spend several days together. talking and catching up. And I think I will enjoy walking around Luxembourg. We can even go to other cities in Europe to see. We have a little vacation with her, travel around. And this brings me very, a lot of excitement and positive energy, just thinking about it. And I allow myself to see it in my mind, how it's gonna feel or what it's gonna be. What else? I want my daughter to go to a nice private school that I can afford. Without, without feeling that I have to sacrifice something.
What else? Oh, I need a new car. Okay. So I need to buy a new car. And I want it to be comfortable. And dependable. So I don't want to buy something that is broken or not working well. I want it to be easy to make, maintain and to last. Longer. We need to have cars here in Dallas. In bigger cities, you can probably use Uber and don't need a car. But in Dallas, it's Dallas was built, the city that was built when there was already cars. So it's very spread out and relies on cars. There's a lot of people driving and not all of them are good drivers. Some of them are very young or very old and they all need to be driving. So sometimes it's not safe. And what else? Um, I want to buy a new apartment for my mom. So she needs some better, easier accommodation. She is on the higher floor. So if I get a new apartment on a lower floor, it will be easier for her to be able to go out. And stay active. Okay. Good, to make it very more convenient for her. She's having some problems with her legs, so she cannot climb a lot of stairs. And right now she's on the fourth floor without elevator. And I do want to spend money on my health as well. So this is another area. In beauty, I want to have beautiful clothes, beautiful makeup, beautiful hairstyle, and to have massages. I want to, I love having massages, good massages. Okay, and you can add other things, as many other things as you want, and see how it transformed your stage right now. So we can start coloring 
And in neurographica, we color by drawing over the lines and connecting several segments together. You can color circles separately or create a flow of colors. I'm sorry, this, this is making some noise. Some of the pencils are quieter and other pencils are noisier. Let me see if I have pencils that are not as noisy. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is the same. Yeah, it matches. Yes, this is more quiet. And once you start coloring, notice how you feel in your body. Coloring puts you in a state of creativity and inspiration. So right away you should feel more peaceful and more at ease. If you want to shade, don't shade the little segments separately. Shade them as, as a whole stream of colors like everything that you color with one color, and then you can shade the whole area. And yeah, don't forget the other side to bring the colors on the other side as well. Later, you can walk, work on the smooth, on smoothing the colors. In the beginning, you can just mark where the colors will go. And at the end, we have a step that is called style to bring some smoothness and to work a little bit more with the colors to make them look nicer. Okay, and colors can cross over each other. They can mix, get mixed with each other, merge. If you have more lines, it's easier to color because you will find more options where to color. 
and more lines are better for processing your topic. So whatever topic you want to process, if you have more lines and more roundings, it will be more effective. Some people are wondering why this neurographica is not very effective if they only do like few lines and few roundings, it's not gonna work. You need to spend time to transform and change your beliefs. And with each neural line, you are changing the belief that you, you are caring for some time you have been creating and believing for some time. So it takes a, a time to change it. And it's up to you if you wanna change it faster and more effectively, you would spend more time creating those lines and rounding. And coloring also, um, if you enjoy your uh, drawing at the end, if it brings you satisfaction and you like it, not anybody else, but you need to like it, then you will have better results as well. Doesn't have to be something very complicated and, and intricate. You see it's just lines and circles and rounding, but still they need to look smooth and neat. And if you see that something wasn't rounded, when you start coloring, you may notice those lines they will pop out for you that were you missed and they weren't rounded so you can go back at any time and finish rounding them And we can add some bright color. How about some yellow? If your uh, pencils are softer, it's easier to color and they give up color better. It's more juicier, more visible. The colors are more visible. If your pencils are uh, harder, then the colors are gonna be not as bright. And so let's get some color to the bottom here. You can notice what circles you color with what color. And feel in your body, how do you feel about those colors? What do they bring you for you? What do they remind you of?
And white color is also a color. You can leave some white spaces. You don't have to color everything. Okay, and now the next step will be for us to choose um, something we want to uh, to our new state. So the new circle that we drew, this is gonna be our new state and we wanna make it a little bit thicker, bolder around this line and you can use marker or just pencil to shade it a little bit and bring it all together. This is your new state of income. that we are working on. And this works, um, I've seen people, I had uh, people do it um, to several times and every time they got into a new level of income. So this is, um, very useful if you if you want to to do it you need to feel comfortable with the next level though you cannot jump from zero to 100 millions 100 thousands or a million you doubling your income is comfortable for anybody, so stay with just the doubling. And next time you start from where you are and you double, you draw about doubling. So little by little in stages, you can get to the million that you want, but just not all at once because there's a lot, there's gonna be a lot of changes if you do it at once, just doing it in stages, it's safer and it's more accessible. And of course, like with every neurographica, we want to invite the support of the universe by adding field lines. Let's add some field lines. And we are using the same color as you, what you use for the other lines. So choose what stands out to you and make those lines a little bit thicker, bolder. And don't forget to round. Uh, we will need to round again because by thickening the lines, some roundings will disappear. So we will need to go over the field lines and redo the rounding.
And with introducing the field lines, we feel the universe or higher powers being in line with what we are asking for. And we have the support of the universe or God, if you believe in God or whatever you believe in. It's like a prayer that we let go. We ask for and then we let go for the universe to, to fulfill. And one more. If you have ticker marker, you can do it more easier. If you have thinner marker like me, you will just need to do it several times. Just making the lines thicker and thicker until you get to desired thickness. And I'm spending time to round everything. You can still add other lines. Play with it until you feel satisfied and until it looks good to you. And then we'll check again. How do you feel? Does it look good to you? You may add thicker line around the fixation. See if you need it. To strengthen it. To add some, to, to make it more visible and more defined.
Okay, how are you doing? Do you have any questions? This is the last step. And I wanted to hear how it went for you. Did you, how do you feel at the end? And it, did you like it? Was it helpful? I hope you have enjoyed it. And I would love to see your drawings if you can share in our Facebook group and uh, on the website as well. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.